I've got my original video that I used uh, in the interview. You can see I've got the uh, questions and the answers uh, divided up just like I left it the last time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lower third so you can see when I ask the question I'll put the question on there. When I answer the question I'll do the same thing. Now I'm going to basically copy the format from a popular uh, news channel. Uh, pretty basic. You can see a white rectangle. Underneath that there's a red rectangle. Then up to the right I'm going to have uh, I'll put my own logo. Now I'm going to where this red box is I'm just going to put my school name in there and I'll put my school logo over here and then the white box is going to be uh, updated with whatever the question or the answer happens to be in this little interview. So I'm going to have to have uh, one box for the white, one box for the red, and then I'll add the logo. So above my uh, video, I'm going to add uh, three video tracks. You can just right click and add a track. There's really no limit on uh, the number of tracks you can add other than at some point it, it might get unmanageable if you've got a whole bunch of tracks. So uh, planning, I know I'm going to need one for the red, one for the white, one for the logo, so I've got three there. Now to actually add my lower third, I'm going to go up to the effects menu and under toolbox I'm going to click on titles and you can see there is a basic title here. I'm just going to use the simplest one, a basic title. And I'm going to drag that over into my timeline. I'm going to make it start at the very beginning. I'm going to make it go all the way to the end. So this is, this is going to be one of those boxes. It's on the bottom, so it's going to be the red box. I'm going to do the same thing here, except this is going to be the white box. And that leaves me room for my logo, which I'll, I'll add that in last. Now, uh, like I said, I'm going to copy what I saw over there on CNN. So I'm going to have uh, a white box on top, the red box on bottom. So uh, this is the bottom one here. I'm, in this one, I'm going to put my school name. And uh, I'm going to make this uh, Open Sans regular font, nice, thin, readable font. I'm going to make it about uh, 35. And you can move these, you know, wherever so they fit. I, I've got to make sure everything kind of stays underneath uh, my face when I'm talking. I don't want my lower thirds to, to go across my face. So, uh, you know, somewhere kind of over here. Now, uh, right now this is white. Uh, I think that's going to be fine. In my little inspector, I'm in the titles. That's where I put my school name. I'm going to make this all caps. It's going to look like that. And you can see there's a X and Y where I can adjust this. If I wanted to make it larger or smaller, I could. But I, I adjusted the size by changing the font size right there. Now, all the way at the bottom of this is where I can put in a background. And right now, the height is 0. So if I increase this, you can see there's my, my background. Now, uh, looking back at this, the uh, edges are nice sharp corners. So in this, I can control the radius of that. I'm going to make them zero. I want these to be nice sharp corners. Also, uh, the opacity, that's uh, how much transparency it is. I'm going to make that all the way up to 100. And uh, this is uh, red on CNN. I'm going to go with my school color, so I'm going to make this uh, a blue color. Now I'm going to come back later. I'm going to match that perfectly to my logo. But just so you can see it, uh, I've got a nice little blue color. Now uh, I already went through and re uh, 
measured everything precisely so I could just uh, kind of put the numbers in so it would work exactly the way I wanted. So uh, up here on the uh, X and the Y position, uh, I'm going to make this 155 for the X and 175 for the Y. And then for my height and width, I'm going to make uh, the width 0 0.309 and the height 0 0.167. I'm going to change the uh, X center to 1 and the Y to minus 56. So that's, that's what that blue box actually for CNN this is the red box underneath the white box is going to look like all right so now let's make the adjustment for the uh, the top text which is going to be a white box it changes quite a lot this first one that's never going to change that's just going to stay that blue box all the time to kind of size uh, things, what I want to do is, uh, I already know how I answered everything, so I know that the longest answer I gave, I know what that is, and, I, and that needs to fit in the box. Uh, when I was asked my favorite book, I said The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rathbus. Plus, there we go. Now that needs to fit uh, a little bit more narrow because I've got to have room for my look over here. I want this uh, space kind of around it. So uh, I'm going to adjust the font down to 79. And uh, just like before, I've uh, looked at the numbers. So I know what to put in here. Uh, I am going to change the anchor. I don't want these to be centered. I want them to be left aligned. The reason is I'm going to change these over and over, and I don't want the text to always end up in the center. I always want it to be aligned to the left-hand side and go across as far as it needs to go. You'll see that as I, as I start making the, the uh, text titles. So for my uh, X right here, let's make this 102. And the Y, let's make it 91. So you can see where that's going to be. Now down here at the bottom, again, I'm going to change the color to white. Actually, I better go back up and change my font color, not white. I'm going to make it blue. Let's go back and let's uh, change the height and the width of... Uh, Let's make this 0 0.85. Let's make the height 0 0.107. And we don't want this to have any transparency. We don't want the corners to be rounded. For the uh, X center, let's make this 287. And for the Y, let's make this minus 3. So that, that looks pretty good. You can uh, use your scroll wheel and you can zoom in and see uh, how, it, how the edges match up. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, match to, to what we have on CNN. Now, they have two lines of text. I'm just going to have one, but uh, otherwise uh, it doesn't look bad. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my logo in. I want it to be right here. And uh, I'm going to, first off, you can get the logo if you go out to the school website. And uh, after the domain name, just type logos. And I'm going to grab this uh, version of the logo. You can see uh, from around uh, the graphic that there is uh, no background. It's got a transparent background. That's going to be important uh, whenever I drag this icon onto my video. 
uh, I'll be able to see around it very nicely. Now, uh, I've downloaded this and I've uh, dropped it into the folder that has my uh, video files in it. To get this into my timeline, all I do is uh, drag it in this uh, open spot up here. And just like with the other titles, I'm going to make it uh, go the full duration of my uh, video. Now I told you I was going to match the colors of this blue to my logo. Uh, let me show you how to do that. If I click on the uh, blue box here, I can click on the blue color and then I can use the screen uh, color picker and pick that color right there as my blue box color. Likewise, if I go to my uh, other text box, I'm going to match the text color, same deal, screen picker, pick that color, OK. So now my blue text in the white box matches, my actual blue box matches, got a nice little match. Now I want to uh, move this over and down. Uh, it's also way too big. Uh, I'm going to make this about 0.16. That's about the right size. And then I'm going to move it over on the X, down on the Y, until I like where it is. Now notice, all around it, you can see through it. That's because I've got that uh, transparent background on that uh, graphic. So there's uh, my match pretty good. At this point, I'm just going to go through and uh, change the text on here to match whatever the question or the answer is. Now, I have one big title, but so that I don't have to recreate that title every single time I uh, add some different text, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut what I have and change only the text uh, that's on that uh, component to match whatever the question happens to be at that time. So uh, I'm going to start off by calling this something kind of generic. And I'm going to leave it like that until Please introduce yourself. I get to the Tell point. Tell us what grade you're in and how long you've been at Liberty Bend. My name is Mr. Trusty. Okay, so right there, I'm going to zoom in on this so you can kind of see. Right here is where I answer that question, so I'm going to highlight my title. I'm going to do the uh, Control B. That's going to use the blade to cut it right there. So you can see before this, I have this text. After it, I'm going to start putting the answers. So you can see there's the first answer. So let's watch what this looks like. My name is Mr. Trusty. I'm the technology. So right, ab right about here, after my name, I'm going to say my title. So once again, Control B to cut that right there. And then I'm going to put a dash and my answer. So let's watch it again. My name is Mr. Trusty. I'm the technology director at Liberty Benton, and this is my eighth. And then right eighth, here, eighth, I say eighth. eighth year, so cut it again. And the second half, eighth year. Now let's watch all of that so you can get the idea. My name is Mr. Trusty. I'm the technology director at Liberty Benton, and this is my eighth year. And then I would just repeat the whole process, go to the second question, the second answer, the third question, and so on. That's really all there is to it. Uh, once you have this template uh, all set up, all you have to do is cut the title, edit, you know, after the cut and repeat the process until you're finished. Now, you 
you don't want to do this every single time that you do the same kind of video. If you, if you anticipate doing a lot of interviews that have a lot of lower thirds, then uh, what we have here could be saved as a template. So what you can do is you can go up to File and you can export this project. That will take all the settings for all of those lower thirds, which that's what we spent the bulk of the time doing was getting it all set up perfectly. Uh, you could export that project and then anytime you did an interview, you could start by opening up that project and except for the new text you'd have to put to correspond to the questions and answers, all the formats are laid out the way that you'd want. So if you have any questions about this, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, that's a real simple way to do uh, lower thirds on your videos.